Hello Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. This video is dedicated to those who come along and leave comments under Flat Earth videos uh, claiming that uh, the heliocentric globe model is the only way to make predictions of things like eclipses and the movements and locations of celestial objects at any given time of year. So I'd like to show that uh, that is not the only way you can consider it and in fact you can uh, use a clock face to represent the flat earth and make very very accurate predictions based on this 360 degree circle. The clock face is stationary so this can be our flat earth and we are looking down upon it. The hands can represent celestial objects above the earth and we know when we look at a clock that it is the hands that move, not the clock face, yet we are still able to make very accurate predictions. So the long hand can be the sun and the short hand can be the moon. And we know that in five minutes the moon will eclipse or occult the sun. So the long hand being the sun and the short hand being the moon can illustrate how very easily we can predict when and where above the flat earth the sun will pass, uh, sorry, the moon will pass in front of the sun. So we can see there that there is absolutely no problem at all with predictability on a flat earth model in inverted commas. But another aspect of the heliocentric model that uh, people will look into and consider when they are opening their mind and heart to flat earth is uh, the distances and sizes of celestial objects involved in this massive solar system we are told we are spinning around in. And one can quickly see and understand that these predictions are just simple calculations of algebra assuming different speeds and distances in order for a celestial object to follow a particular path and return to where it started from the observer's point of view on the earth. Again this is done with geometry. There is your geometry, the 360 degrees and then you can divide it all up very easily and make your predictions and this can easily become a, spin a spinning sphere in your calculations if you like depending on what you want to assume to start with. So what is <coughs> calculated and has to be assumed with the heliocentric model is the size, for example, of the Sun and the distance it must be from the Earth in order to be, first of all, at the center of the solar system and to appear the size that it is to us, given the premise that it is many times more massive than the Earth. And of course has to have enough mass to pull all the other planets around with its gravitational field, which are just more calculations. They are not actual measurements. The only thing that is being measured is the passage of time. And then you can input and interchange distances and speeds to match with the times that you have started with. So again, 
the heliocentric model or the flat earth model or basically what we observe on this earth is a big clock in the sky. That is all we actually know. Thank you very much.